Hi everybody, it's Christina, and I just wanted to come on and say ho ho ho, and Merry Christmas, and fa la 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 la, la 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 la, because I like saying that. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video, I'm going to try and do a quick video, of some tags and cards and uh, Christmas tree ornaments that I made, uh, and then that's it, and then I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I'm going to do a Christmas house tour again, just not much not much changed since last year but I'm gonna do one anyways uh, maybe a little bit of baking I'm gonna put some baking Christmas baking in there uh, I'm gonna try and get Indy in there with a Christmas hat on and I don't know I can't think of anything else right now but I'm sure there's other things so okay let's get started all right so in this video I am going to show you some tags that I have made uh, let's see, some tree ornaments that I've made, cards, more tags, and gift card, card holders. So I'll try and go through everything really quickly. So at the dollar store, I picked up this package. They are four different designs. There's, so there's 24 tags, and they look like this. So it's kind of like those coloring books, and then you could color them. But because of my tendonitis in my hands, I can't spend a whole lot of time coloring. So what I thought I would do was use my Distress Stains. So I just kind of used some colors, Christmas colors. And see here, I pounced red and green. On this one, I just used red and green. And then used my markers here to color in the owl. And I think, yeah, I only sort of, I think I only did these two designs. Maybe this, yeah, these two designs. Because I like these ones the best. So see, here are some that I haven't finished yet, because and then some of them I stamped, uh, the ones that I didn't really do anything with, I stamped to and from, and I made some tags with them, and I'll show you those tags. So there's the tags, then I used these die cuts for the fronts, and then this stamp set. And I found that this stamp set, these stamps right here, stamped really nicely in these die cuts. So here's one, see it says happy holidays, and then inside is to and from, and I just added some white twine. This one is so cute in the owl suite. Please check one, naughty, nice. And then that one, jingle bells, happy holidays, and then another owl one, it says no peeking, it's so cute. So I still have a few to finish here. And this stamp set I used, by Seven Gypsies is called Christmas Greetings. It's got 19 pieces in here. And I have, I've had this a really long time, this stamp set, I like it. Then the next thing I wanted to show you is I made some tree ornaments. You know those frames you can get at Michael's? They come white, they're black, they're red. They're different colored frames, some are gold. Well, I really, I've been saving them up and wanting to um, ink them up and use them for Christmas decorations. Uh, so this one I inked pink. So I rubbed some glossy accent on it after the ink was dry and then I used Dazzling Diamonds and sprinkled that on. And then some of this eyelash lace or trim in pink, I believe, and this bow and this pearl that dangles. So yeah, I'm going to put that on the tree. And then I made another one. And this one I inked pink and white. I used some white gesso. I used dazzling diamonds on it, a star, made some flowers, added this lovely trim, and a, a lace hanger. And then there's another one. And one more. So, so happy about that. I have such little time and I have to um, you know, use my time wisely this time of year. So I'm so happy that I got that finished. Then, a friend of mine, her name is Sue, and I will leave a link to her channel. She likes to do a Christmas series. She did one last year, she's doing one this year, and she loves Christmas. I think she starts Christmas in October already. And she, um, she'll do videos of, you know, going to the thrift store, what she found at the thrift store, and she did these last year, and I didn't have time, but I made three of them this year. So I buy these 
um, clear bulbs. I think I got mine at Michael's. And they look like that. So they're the celebrated. And then I think, I don't know what I did with this one. Oh yeah, I think I gessoed it. Then I rubbed glossy accent on it and then sprinkled some, you know, like silver, um, uh, like fairy dust on it. I added a doily and little embellishments and some flowers. It says snowflakes. And then I added this pearl trim and put a bow at the end to hang it on the tree. So pretty. I can hardly wait to put that on my tree. Then I made another one. This one I covered in white tulle. And um, these were gold leaves. I gessoed them a little, added some pink color. This one says glisten. And there's more flowers on here. And this top part here, this, this part here, I think I did it on this one. Maybe I didn't. But on this one, see there's some pink trim in there or bling. And then I just used some pink ribbon. And here, this one also is done with pink ribbon and some tulle. So I would have gessoed the bulb first. You can see the sparkle on there. I think I rubbed glossy accent on it. I say I think because I did this already like three weeks ago. I forgot. And yeah, or yeah, glossy accent. And then I just sprinkle some glitter on it. And there's the leaves and all kinds of flowers and bling. So that's going on the tree. So I made three of those. Then I made, so I bought this mitten die by Spellbinders. And it's, see how big it is. And I made some uh, more ornaments for the tree, mitten ornaments for the tree. And I'll just go through them quickly here. And they're all opened in the top and I'm going to slip a candy cane in there. Um, so on each of them, I just use different Christmas pattern paper, um, embellishments, lace, trim, whatever I had here in my stash. And then this one. And they're all for hanging on the tree. Look how pretty this one is. And this one. Oh, look at the cute little ice skates. That's an ice skate die. Isn't that sweet? And this one here. Winter. Winter Wonderland. Twice a night before Christmas. And then the last one here, holiday jingle trimmings. And some of them jingle. And here's my candy canes. And I'm just going to, whoops, woohoo. All right, see, and the candy cane will go in like so. And then it'll hang on the tree like so. And I will show you because I'm going to do um, a holiday Christmas home tour again, and I will show you all of this on my tree. And the next thing I'm going to show you is some cards, Christmas cards that I made with this paper stack right here by Crate Paper, and it's called Bundled Up. And I tried to use as much as I could so I can buy new paper next year, but I have a feeling I am going to have paper left over. But it's, but it's okay, I don't mind because it's such cute paper. Look at these, um, I cut these out and used these little people on my cards. And you can cut these words out and these snowmen I cut out. And it's got all kinds of tags and pictures and words that you can cut out. So let me grab those cards. All right, so the first one is there's a tag that I cut out. I cut out Let It Snow and there's a Santa. And I just love this paper. I added some little snowflakes. I don't know where I got these. I ordered a whole package of them. I forget where I got them, but I like them. They're very pretty. And some of them I finished on the inside. Some of them I didn't. 
And then there's this one. It's snow days. So yeah, I cut all those little snowmen and people out and I layered them. It's so cute. And this one here, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Look at this little skater and the tree. It says, Mary, fa la 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 la. And this one here, I used uh, this die here, which I have somewhere. And then the kitty die, cozy kitten. So I d cut out three kittens. And they're sitting on, I got it right here. This by called Your Next Stamp. I think that's yeah, yournextstamp.com. This die it came together so it's the fence and then the light, the lamp post. So that's a lamp post. There's a fence. There's the three kittens. The three little kittens, they lost their mittens. I don't know if it's Christmas related, but whatever, right? Mittens and Christmas and snow all go together. And then that's the inside. And then this card here. So I cut the paper out, made like three banners and some red seam binding, little button in the center and it says snowman fun. So that was with that paper pad. And then I have some burlap. So I cut it out. I think I actually, oh no, I have burlap ribbon. So I cut out three strips and glued it first on the card. And then um, with another piece of cardstock, I used a die in the center to cut out the middle part. And then I added, I get this stuff at the dollar store. I don't know what it is, right? what it's called. Glue that in the middle, glued an embellishment there. And then with some uh, fabric here, cut out a banner it says sending or oh, I have a stamp that says sending a little Christmas magic your way so I made a couple of those I was going to do a process video on that but <laughs> running out of time so I did uh, both of them are pretty much the same I think um, I used maybe different paper in the background there all right last thing oh no a couple more cards I, I see I got more cards so this one here is a Christmas tree die that I have. And then I have this stamp set and there are these houses. So I stamped, no, I think I did some water coloring, like different, okay, what did I do? See, I made this a long time ago too. I believe I used my distress stains and just smeared different colors on some watercolor paper. Then I stamped the houses and then I cut them out and then glued them onto the pattern paper. There's that lamppost again and the fence die. And I like this stuff here that I got, this crystal drops, Nouveau crystal drops. It adds nice dimension to cards. So I added that all up here for faux snow and then some stickles. Yeah, that's a cute, that's a cute card. I have to hurry up with my cars because I want to mail them out. And then this one here. So this pattern paper already had the reindeer. So I have this sleigh die. So I just sort of stuck that on top. Added these bells and an embellishment. Christmas banner. And I probably still have to put something on top of here so I can do some writing. And lastly, I made some gift card holders with this die by Avery L. And it is called the Envy Die. And these are them here. I'll go through them really quickly. Yeah, that says love you, love you, a latte, a little co coffee cup die that I have. Reindeer. Special delivery from the North Pole. I put this little flower there so this actually can um, sort of tuck under there. Merry Christmas. Another reindeer one. Sending a little Christmas magic your way. Merry 
Honest Wishes. And then um, I made a few, I just have a few extra on hand, and I used this die here, gift card envelope and trims from Stampin' Up. And I haven't embellished them yet. I kind of just have them in case I need some more gift card holders. And that is it. I'm just going to quickly show you some of the dies that I used. I know everybody likes to know what dies. I know that I do when I watch videos. I'm like, oh, what die is that? So there's the Cozy Kitties die by Poppy, Poppy Stamps. Just called Cozy Kitties. And I used this one, Cottage Cuts. It's called Winter Wonderland Border. And this is by Cottage Cuts Ornament Reindeer. This is the Deer Set. Animals and Birdhouse. Ice Skates. This is really cute. And there's the Lamp Post and the Fence. I don't know if this one has a name or not. And that's by yournextstamp.com. Bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.